Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin struggles to get higher again, yeah? And we have seen a first impulse to the downside. So Bitcoin currently hovering a little bit about 40, above 45K. Um, this has also led to a little bit of a sell-off generally in the crypto market. Nothing dramatic. I mean, a 5 to 10% increase or decrease is everything, you know, th this is normal in the crypto market. Yeah, we just need to... We need to be aware of that, absolutely. Um, however, what Bitcoin is doing here at the moment is a bit concerning for my primary scenario, yeah, and it might be that we have to go back to the previous primary scenario. So let me explain. We obviously come down here uh, in an impulsive move down. We've then moved up here a little bit and until we broke above that 45.8K level, my primary scenario was that we do this sell-off straight away into this target area down here below um, 29k. So that is simply required. I, I would say it's required. Um, there are always exceptions, but exceptions are what the name suggests. They are exceptions and they are extremely rare in the crypto market and they also are extremely rare in such a higher level correction that Bitcoin has been doing here for nearly a year now uh, or for a year pretty much because the correction started uh, in the middle of April. So yeah, nearly a year actually. Um, we're already in April. I for forget that already. Um, and then we need to get below that previous low here, below that wave A low of um, 28.7K. Yeah, that is required to complete the correction in a clean way in a solid way so that nothing else remains here in the chart that could disturb the future performance. Therefore, my view is and remains, and it has always remained, that we will get into this yellow target area. Primary scenario has been to go there straight away. Alternative scenario has been there since we broke above that. Well, it has always been there. The alternative scenario has been that we go higher in a wave B. Basically, originally, I anticipated a year-end rally and then a dump. Now, that didn't happen, the year-end rally. But um, since we broke above 45.8K, the view was that we then do this and then come down. Now, Bitcoin, as it broke out of this uh, triangle, we had a triangle here on the chart before. That was the break above 45.8K. And then this scenario in this wave B, before, so we come up first before we dump into the yellow target area, that scenario has become the primary scenario and it is now the primary scenario and it will remain the primary scenario just because we moved above certain levels that this has now become, just purely by applying the Elliott Wave rules, that this has become much more likely than the previous primary scenario. But as you know, on this channel, I'm very specific here. My view is that in both scenarios, we're going to land in this yellow target area. Yeah. So how we get there, to be honest, I don't care too much because the important thing is, and I've stressed that throughout here, that in my opinion, we have not seen the low yet and that what we are doing here is not yet an impulsive move to new all-time highs. I know when you start moving up, everybody's always shouting, you know, we go to new all-time highs, bye, bye, bye. Um, whereas, yeah, I am a bit skeptical and I think this is what distinguishes this channel from from other channels. Because while in the long term, of course, Bitcoin and crypto are going to go up, we, we are currently in a correction and we can't we can't deny that. And just general understanding of charts should make everybody aware that you, you typically need to see that ABC correction, yeah? And ideally you see that lower low and this is just the, li the most likely scenario. And we always have to just look at probabilities. Otherwise, everything else is just speculation. And even by looking at probabilities to a degree, it is just speculation. So, however, probabilities can help us to make better informed decisions. And that is pretty much what it is about. Now, why do I tell you all of that? It is because we are in this channel here now and um, Bitcoin has struggled to get above, it struggled more than expected, to be honest, to get past the 200 day moving average and that resistance level here in, in orange or in yellow. Um, so obviously it did not get really above 48k has dropped below so far everything as expected because i talked about a um retest of the 45 and a half or even 44 and a half k level that's all okay at the moment but it's also important to understand the context and to understand how is the price actually um currently dropping here and it is really really strong it looks fairly impulsive 
And what we're currently doing here looks to me a little bit um, just like a correction of an impulse, which would suggest that we are going to see another dump down. And if this is going to happen, my point of view is, as long as we stay above this 42.65, 42.7 level, 42.7K, then we are remaining in the primary scenario, which would mean that we are actually still going to have the, the power and the um, the sentiment to move into this target area up here between 55 and 65k. However, if we drop below that level again, 42.6, 42.7k, then that downward scenario, that immediate sell-off becomes much more likely again. It would again become my primary scenario. Um, it is a bit of indecision here at the moment in the market still. Yeah, um, I have to say very clearly that strong upward move that I expected after we broke above 45 and 45.8k uh, has not happened. Therefore, um, I am a bit more skeptical now about this um, scenario and maybe the one that I've been talking about throughout here is still at play. Yeah, and maybe, maybe that move up here, yeah, to the 200 day moving average, maybe it was only a little bit of an, um, how do you call it? an extra exaggeration of the Bitcoin price, yeah, of the market that pushed the price higher than it should have actually gone. And we are going to turn around here and we really see that sell off happen. That would then, yeah, just confirm my original um, or my primary scenario that I've been talking about for, for the last few weeks, really. Um, and in the end, the, the target would remain the same for both scenarios anyway, so that last sell off here that final correction before we can finally go to new all time highs in my opinion is still the most likely one and therefore i'm talking about it and i won't stop talking about it until it has really been invalidated now what we can see on the chart here is actually also what i suggested previously when you see on the daily that bearish crossover happen on the macd now it's not there yet but if it happens that is another sell signal and that will give in my opinion the price another push down yeah um we saw that correction coming of course because we talked about an overbought rsi we talked about these macd levels that were um turning around on the four hour and on the eight hour chart to the downside so it's very interesting what the market is doing at the moment i think it will be an interesting weekend so for me at the moment the level i'm watching at is really that 42.7k level and if we just take a final look here at the price at the moment it really looks a little bit like a bear flag that is playing out here um so pretty much what you saw here yeah you're coming down a little bit of a bearish pennant you do another sell-off now correction again and we might be at the point now where we're starting another sell-off because you have come up quite a lot actually um and but we already see here an engulfing i mean it's only the one hour chart but you see an engulfing red candle and that is typically a bearish signal so Let's see how much that hanging man can drop because we talked yesterday, was it yesterday, about the hanging man candlestick pattern that we spotted here on the daily chart. This one here, um, that was the first reversal pattern, yeah? And after that, we really saw that drop happen. So how much can that hanging man really fall off the rope? Um, let's see. It's certainly that level that I'm watching out for here, 42.7. and. Until here, the price can really still turn around and move up in my target area that I put on the chart here for the uh, wave B. Now again, it doesn't uh, need to play out. If we drop below 42.7, then we'll probably see play out what we've been talking about all along, that sell off into the target area here between 20 and 29K. Yeah, and because the question always comes, do I expect a long bear market? A lot of people expect actually a long bear market if we break below 29K. Now I still haven't fully understood why, the 29k level is for many people the the barrier when we enter a bear market i, I don't know um but what i can tell you is that in an abc correction what you typically do is you make a lower low and then you start to new all-time highs yeah we've seen various examples in the past and uh, i mean the the most important fibonacci retracement level is in this yellow area it is the 27k level roughly i think it's the 61.8 percent fib level that is the most relevant fib level that is there and bitcoin hasn't even seen that yet so their likelihood is very high that we are going to see that all right that's my view here on bitcoin hopefully you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment subscribe and if you really like the content then check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye